And from the cold waters of the Bering Sea, we go to the Salt Road in North Africa. That's a segue. Yes. There was once a Touareg, and he had a camel, and he was carrying salt to Timbuktu. His father, before he died, had told him, be firm with the camels. Do not let the camels take charge. You will regret this. But he was a kind party. So one night, after they made camp, and the storms came up, and the sand was blowing, when the camel spoke outside his tent, he was startled, for he had never heard the camel speak. And the camel said, sweet master, the sand is filling my nose. I cannot breathe. If I could but put my nose inside the tent, this would, this would be the most wonderful thing. And being a kind man, he said, yes, I, I, I understand that. Yes, you may put your nose inside the tent. So the camel put his nose under the tent flap, and the Tuareg very carefully wiped the sand out of his nose, and the camel purred. Did you know camels can purr? Mm -hmm. It usually comes just before they spit. <laughs> and the Tuaregs proceeded to drift off to sleep when the camel spoke again. Oh, sweet master, I fear the sand is filling my ears. I will not be able to hear your commands on the morrow. If I could put, put my head and ears inside the tent, all would be well. Tuareg wasn't very brave. So the Tuareg says, yes, yes, that, that is reasonable. Camel puts his head inside the tent. And bear in mind, camels are not small animals, and this was not a large tent. So the camel is taking up a fair amount of floor space at this point. But the Tuareg says, this is good. He wipes the sand out of the camel's ears and crawls back into his bedroll, planning to fall asleep when the camel speaks again. Oh, sweet master, the sand is being blown under my fur, and it is making my neck itch. Could I? Yes. Yes. Put your neck inside the tent. Go to sleep. Well, thank you, kind master. About five minutes later. Oh, kind master. What? <laughs> the sand is being blown into my... Um... No, it, it, yes, yes, just get it out of the storm. Now the tent is full of camel. And the Tuareg is beginning to realize his mistake. For as I said before, the tent was not large. The camel was not small. And camels, they have an aroma rivaled only by old billy goats. So the Tuareg at this point is forced out into the storm where the sand proceeds to get in his nose and his eyes and his ears. And yes, everywhere, sand gets everywhere. And the Tuareg says, remember his father's words, be firm with the camels. Do not let the camels push you around. <laughs> And thus the Tuareg never, ever, ever let the camels put their noses in the tent. Mm -hmm.